up Amanda here. Today we are going to be doing a body weight strength workout. All standing, no equipment needed. Let's get started with our warm up. Nice easy march. Try to lift that chest and pull your shoulder blades back and down and breathe deeply. We're going to bring our arms up into a W with our palms facing in and let's pull back, opening up through the chest squeezing those shoulder blades and keeping that march going. Breathing deeply, two more here, one left, and let's go to a reach, reach across that body, add a toe tap if you like, stretching through the upper back and the shoulders. Nice soft knee bend here, breathing deeply. Two more. Let's take it back to that march. So nice big arm circles here. We're going to pull back and down, opening up through that chest. Go at your pace. You don't have to match mine. Whatever feels right with the range of motion of your shoulders. Breathing through this. Two more. One left here, and then we're going to take it over to the hips. Plant your feet, hands on your hips. We're going to start with that right leg, nice big circle. Six per side. Five, opening up that hip. Four, maintaining balance. Three, that's it. Two, one more here. One, over to the other leg. Here we go. Six. Five, breathing deeply. Four, three, work through that range of motion. Two, one more here, one. Lastly, we're gonna finish off with a hip hinge. Be shoulder width apart, place your fingertips just behind your ears, lift the chest. And we're going to hip hinge forward, pressing the heels into the floor, and back up. Just gonna get a nice big stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale the way up. Exhale on the way down, pushing the chest out, maintaining a flat back, and breathing deeply. Inhale, exhale, we've got two more. Two, one left here, and one. All right, we're gonna go to our strength round. So our first move is going to be a Y to a W. In a standing position, we're going to start with our arms in a Y, chest lifted, Shoulder blades back, and if your hands are creeping forward, we're just going to pull them back a little bit, engaging the shoulder blades. From here, we're going to pull our arms down into a W, and then press up into that Y, once again, keeping the hands back. Let's go for eight reps. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. That's two. Chest lifted. Chin neutral. Three. Try to brace through the core so that you're standing tall, just gently pulling your abdominals in, pull and press. Two more here, breathing through it, one more, and release the shoulders, shake it out. Second move, we've got a side to side lunge. So we're gonna stand in a wide position with our toes flared. From here, we're going to sink down onto that right leg, lifting the left toe, and over to the other side. Ready? Let's do eight of them. Here we go. Seven, chest pushed out. Six, nice big stretch in the inside of the thigh, which are the adductor muscles. You've got it. Breathing through it. Three, two, one. Up next, we've got a back exercise. Feet, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna show you this one from the side. Let's fold forward. So, in this move, one hand on my thigh, and I'll let my other arm, my right arm, hang down, pushing the chest out and keeping the back flat. From here, I'm going to rotate, pull, and my hand is going to come right next to my rib cage with my elbow up nice and high, retracting the shoulder blade, and back down. As I twist, my gaze will be over to the side. Ready? Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight. Twisting through the trunk. Seven. Maintain that flat back position with the chest pushed out. Four more on the side. Four. Abdominals in. Three. Keep it up. 
two, one more here, one. Release that flat. Let's take it over to the left hand. Back is flat. Fold forward from the hips. Ready? Let's rotate for eight. Eight. Abdominals in. Gently pull your belly button in toward your spine. As you lift and pull, really squeeze that shoulder blade back. Exhaling on the pull. And release. One more move for this round. We've got pull squats. Nice wide stance with our toes flared. We're gonna start in a semi-squatting position, pull the shoulders back, and we're gonna pulse for 12. Let's do it. One, weight on the heels. Two, nice and low. Three, four, push that chest out, maintaining strong posture. Breathing deeply. Four more, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out those legs. We're going to take it back to our Y's. So, starting in that wide position, chest lifted, pull the hands back. Let's go for eight, Y to W. Here we go. Pull down, press up, pull down, press up. Remember, we're squeezing the shoulder blades back and together, breathing through it. Four more, four, three, keep it up, two, one more here, one. Shake up the shoulders, wide stance, side to side lunges. Again, starting to the right. Ready, go down, feel that stretch in the adductor, and over to the left side. In that stretch, don't worry too much about the depth of your lunge. The goal is to get as low as you comfortably can while maintaining a flat back. One more. And back up to standing. Rotational row, starting with that right arm. Feet shoulder width apart. Fold forward. Other hands just on top of the leg. And chest pushed out. Let's go for eight. Eight. Really squeeze that shoulder blade. Exhale the way up. Inhale on the way down. Squeeze as you lift. That's it. Get that shoulder blade retraction every single rep. One more. And shake it out. Over to that left arm. Fold forward. Back is flat and neck is neutral. Let's go. Eight. Breathing through. Seven. Rotating gently through the trunk. Getting that pull. You got it. Three. Two. And one. Pull squats. Wide stance. Toes flare. Semi squatting, shoulders back, chest lifted. Let's go. 12. You've got it. Press through the heels. Stay nice and low in that squat. Challenge yourself to push from those glutes. You've got this. Three, two, one. One more round. Up to standing. Y's to W's. Starting in that Y, hands back, chin neutral. Let's go for eight. Eight. Remember, it's a press and a pull. You've got it. <sighs> Breathing through. <sighs> Keep this up. Four. Standing tall. Three. Two. And one. Side to side lunge. Once again, starting to the right. Wide stance. Here we go for eight. Eight. Push that chest out. Seven. Nice big stretch. Six. Breathing deeply, five, four, keep it up, three, chest out, two, and one. Rotational rows, feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, hand on top of the thigh, chest pushed out. Let's go for eight, eight, you can do it, seven, squeeze that shoulder blade, back, you've got it, four more, four, Three, two, and one. One more on that left side. Chest out, here we go. Eight. Whenever you're in a bent over position, try to keep your chin and neck in a neutral position that follows the rest of the spine. We don't want that neck cranking up or chin tucked down. One more. Lower it down, pulse squats. 
Last set for this round. Nice and low, chest pushed out. Pull those shoulder blades back. 12 reps, let's do it. One, two, press through the heels. Really get nice and low here. Challenge yourself in that squat. You've got it, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, shake it out. Grab a water break, catch a breather. We're gonna take it to our next round. Up next, we've got a bent over, straight arm pull back. So in this move, similar to the bent over row, I'm going to go into that bent over position, but I'm gonna let my arms hang down, almost like I'm holding grocery bags. From here, I'm gonna pull back, squeezing the shoulder blades back and together, and release. Now, if your lower back needs a break, you can also do this one standing, really focusing on that shoulder blade retraction. Once again, we've got eight reps. So, feet shoulder width apart, fold forward from the hips, ensuring that your back is flat. Let those arms hang down, push the chest down. Let's go for eight here. Pull the hands back, eight, and release the shoulders. As you squeeze, exhale, pull. You've got it. Five. Really focus on the mid back. Four. These muscles are part of the lower trapezius, which is a kite shaped muscle that runs through the upper and mid back. One more. And release. All right, to our lower body move, we've got a lunge. Now, in this move, if you need a little less knee flexion, you can also take this one to a standard stance position. For this, I'm going to go into a stationary lunge position. Now we're going to sink down into that lunge, but I want you to imagine that you're pulling the floor. So you're going to pull back with your forward foot, press forward with your back foot, almost like you have a rug between your feet and you're gonna to try to bunch it up. All right, let's lower down into that lunge position. Try to maintain your balance, lifting your chest, push and pull. So you're coming inward toward the midline. Four, three, two, one. Release, just shake it out a little bit. We're going again. All right, sink down into that lunge. Push and pull into the middle. Four, three, two, one. And shake it out. Let's take it over to the other side. Once again, split stance or lunge position. Sinking down into that lunge. We're going to push and pull. That's it, four, three, two, one. Come on, shake it out. Ooh, and hold on to the wall if you need balance. Lower down, here we go. Four, three, two, one, and shake out those legs. Upper body, we've got chest press outs. So, in this move, we're going to press the heels of our palms together. Elbows are going to be pointed down at a 45 degree angle to relax the shoulders. From here, we're going to keep tension on in that press. Lift the chest, push the palms together. Let's press out and pull in. Just a gentle bend in the knees here. Once again, keep that chin and neck in a neutral position with the chin parallel to the floor. Keep pressing through the heels of those palms. Push, pull, that's it. Three more. Breathing through this, exhale. Inhale, one left, and release the chest. Lower body, we've got a staggered deadlift. In this move, our feet will be shoulder width apart with the right foot slightly forward, left foot slightly back. My left toe will align with my right foot arch. From here, place your fingertips just behind your ears, lift the chest, just a soft knee bend, and pull those elbows back. We're going to hinge forward from the hips, getting a stretch in the hamstring, and up. Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight. Now with this move, just a gentle knee bend is necessary. You'll feel a slight stretch on the hamstring and the back leg, but we're really focused on that stretch in the forward hamstring, that's our right leg on this set, and through the glutes. We've got three more here. Three. Keep this up. Two, pressing those heels into the floor. One more, one. And gently lift up out of it, over to the other side. Left foot slightly forward, right foot slightly back. Right toe aligns with the left foot arch. Hands behind the ears, lift the chest, 
pull the elbows back. Let's go into our deadlift for eight. Eight. Once again, really focus on that forward leg, especially that hamstring. You've got it. Really press those heels into the floor. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. If you feel those elbows creeping forward, just gently pull them back and push your chest out. We've got two more here. Two. One left. One. Woo. All right, shake it out. We are back to the top of this round. Bent over, straight arm pull backs. Feet shoulder width apart. Lower down, arms are hanging, chest pushed out. Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight. Remember to squeeze through the mid back. You're not just pulling backwards, you're also pulling slightly inward so that you're squeezing the shoulder blades and the mid back together. That's it. Four more. Four. Exhale to pull. Three. Inhale on the release. Two. One more here. One. Stationary lunge, isometric contraction. Step forward with the right foot, back with the left. You can have that staggered stance, you need less knee flexion, or follow me into that lunge. Ready? Let's push and pull. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently lift up out of it. Shake with the legs, shake with the hips if you need to. Let's sink back down. Sink down into the lunge. Push and pull. You're pulling that forward foot back, pressing forward with that back foot. Two, one, and gently come up out of it. Let's take it over to the other side. Flipping that lunge position, chest lifted, sink down. Ready? Here we go. Push and pull. Four, three, two, one. Back up, shake it out. One more here, sink down. Push and pull. Four, three, two, one, and up. Let's take it back to upper body, chest press out. Palms together, feet shoulder width apart, soft knee bend, chest lifted, press those heels of the palms together. Here we go for eight, eight. Now if you have a hardcover book at home and you'd like to add some weight to this move, you can add one or two hardcover books pressed between your hands. And that adds quite a bit of resistance to this move. No dumbbells necessary. Two more. Two, keep that tension on. One, and release the chest. Shake up those shoulders. Staggered deadlifts. Feet, shoulder width apart, right foot forward, left foot slightly back. Fingertips behind the ears, chest lifted. Soft knee bend, let's go for eight. Eight. In this move, really push your chest out. That will help you to maintain that flat back position. Inhale, exhale, four more, four. If you feel those elbows creeping forward, just pull them back. Two left, two. One more here, one. Woo. Over to the left side, left foot slightly forward, right foot slightly back, chest lifted, elbows back. Here we go for eight, eight. Now as you're pressing your heels into the floor, you might find your toes lift just slightly off of the floor. That is perfectly fine as long as you feel balanced. That's really important to maintain your balance throughout the exercise and maintain that foot position with weight on the heels. We've got two more. Two, one left here, one. Whew. All right, one more round, straight arm pullbacks, feet shoulder width apart. Fold forward, push the chest out. Let's pull back, here we go. Eight, don't forget to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Seven, pull the abdominals in. Six, and once again, keep your chin and neck in a neutral position. In a forward fold, your neck should just follow what the rest of the back is doing. So in this move, our gaze is about 45 degrees down toward the floor. Two more here. Two. One left, one. Ooh, shake it out, lunges. So once again, right foot forward, left foot back. And we're gonna put it together this time. Eight count, we're not coming up in between. If you feel like you need that break, go ahead and do so. All right, let's sink down into that lunge. Push and pull, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Come about a bit over to the other.
other side. Sink down into that lunge. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake up those legs, chest press out, palms together, chest lifted. Press through the heels of the palms, lift that chest. Let's go for eight. Eight, push and pull. Try to maintain that tension. You're keeping the heels of the palms pressed together, breathing deeply. That's it, four more. Four, you got it. Three, keep it up, keep it up. Two, one more, one. Whew. Deadlifts, feet, shoulder width apart with one foot slightly back. Left foot back on this round, lift that chest, shoulder blades back, here we go. Big hamstring stretch. Eight more per side. You got it, inhale, exhale. Five more here, five. Press that heel into the floor, especially on that forward foot. We really want to wake up those glutes, wake up those hamstrings. One more here, and exhale. Over to the other side, water break coming up after this. We've got that staggered stance, chest lifted, shoulders back. Let's go. Eight, breathing deeply. Seven, you got it. Six, squeezing through the glutes, straightening up to full extension at the top of the movement. Three more. Three, elbows back. Two, one more here, one. Whew. All right, grab a water break, shake it out, take a breather. We'll go to our last round of moves. So our first move is going to be a standing face pull. So if we were to perform this move in the weight room, we would be using a cable or a resistance band. We're going to do the move body weight, which means we're really going to focus on contracting the muscles as we go through the range of motion of the shoulders. So first, we're going to make sort of a big O shape with our arms, palms facing down with a bend in the elbows, chest lifted. Now in this move, we're going to rotate and pull back into a W, squeezing the shoulders. And that move from the side, you're going to see that my elbows are going to come back behind my shoulder. All right, let's go for eight here. Standing nice and tall, lift that chest. Here we go, eight. I really want you to think about squeezing through the shoulder blades. Because we're not adding resistance to the move, we want to make sure that we're really retracting through the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders back and together. Three more. Three. Keep it up. Two. One more here. One. And shake up those shoulders. We've got our leg move. So, we're going to do a fairly wide stance with this one. My toes are not quite as wide as our pulse squat. However, I'm going to go wider than shoulder width apart. In this move, we're going to shift our weight over to the left leg, turn and squat with a knee tap over to the right leg, eight per side. So find your balance there on that left leg, push your chest out, stack your hands. Let's go for eight. Eight, we're holding that squat, seven. Isometric contraction, six, through that left leg. Five, breathing deeply, four, keep it up. Three, you've got it, two, one more here, one. Shift the weight over to the right leg, over to the left, here we go. Eight, that's it, find that balance. Seven, you've got it, six, press the heel into the floor on that right leg. Keep it up, three more, three, almost there. Two, maintain that squat, one. Woo, gently come about it, feet shoulder width apart. Just a soft knee bend here, we're gonna take this into a standing row. Palms facing up, hands are right around rib cage height with the thumbs pointed 45 degrees up and out. Lift the chest, we're gonna pull the hands next to the rib cage, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then release. Ready, let's go over eight here. Eight, that's it. Breathing through it. Exhale on the 
hold. Inhale on the release. You got it. Five. Really squeezing through the mid back. Six. Keeping that chest lifted. Seven. One more. Eight. And release the shoulders. For this move, you can have your hands on your hips, or if you prefer to have something for balance to steady you, you can hold onto the wall or the back of a chair. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to take it into a calf raise. We're going to lift those heels and back down. Now we're going to ramp up those reps a little bit. We're going to take this to 20 reps. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Let's go. One, two, three. You've got it. Four, five, six. Keep pushing. Squeezing through that lower leg. Maintaining strong balance and keeping your chest lifted. Chin neutral. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, all right, shake it up. We've got our standing face pose. Once again, feet shoulder width apart. Make that big O shape. We'll lift the chest and let's pull back with that rotation into the W. And release the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. You've got it. Six. Squeezing through the shoulder blades every single rep. Make it count. Three more here. Three. You've got it. Two. One more here. One. And release. All right, we've got our knee tap squats. Once again, starting to lean on that left side. We're going to twist over to the right. Squatting down. Stack the hands. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. So we're holding that contraction through the left quad and glute. But we're also finding that balance. One more. And shift over to the right. Here we go to the left. Eight. Seven. Pausing in between six. Ever so briefly, just again to find that balance. Three more. Three. Two. Weight on the heel. One. Up to standing. Underhand rows. Lift that chest. Soft knee bend. Let's go for eight. Exhale on the pull. Inhale on the release. Squeezing through the mid back. Keeping that chest lifted. Three more here. Three. One more. One. Ooh, all right, shake up the shoulders. Calf raises. We're going to switch it up a little bit this set. We're going to turn our toes out. Hands on the hips or on the wall or a chair. Lift the chest, shoulders back. Let's go for 20. One, two, three, four. Keep it up. Five, six. You've got it. Seven, eight. Push through. Nine, ten down. We're halfway here. Keep that chest lifted and breathe evenly. Five to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, all right, shake it out. One final round. Standing face bowls, feet shoulder width apart. Make that O position. Lift the chest. And let's pull back into the W. Eight. Try to pull your abdominals in. Once again, belly button toward the spine. Exhaling on the pull. Inhaling on the release of the shoulders. That's it. Three more. Three. Keep it up. Two. One more here. One. Ooh, all right, shake it out. We've got our leg taps down into that squat. Once again, we're going to go over that left leg to the right. Here we go. Eight. Keep the weight on the heels. Seven. Six. You've got it. Five. Four. Gentle twist through the core. Three. Brace the abs. Two. One more. One. Shift over to the right. Here we go to the left. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You've got it. Four. Three. Two. One. Underhand rows. Palms up. Chest lifted. 
let's go for eight. Eight, squeezing through the mid back and the backs of the shoulders. That's it. Four, five, lift that chest. Six, really focus on shoulder blade retraction. One more. And lastly, calf press. This time, we're gonna turn those toes inward, flaring the heels out, lift the chest. Ready, let's go for 20. Finishing off our workout. Now you might find this version with the toes facing in is a little more challenging balance-wise. Once again, if you'd like to hang on to something, such as a chair or the wall, feel free to do so. Keep that chest lifted. You got it. We're halfway, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep it up. Four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, shake it out, grab a water break, and let's stretch it out. Whenever you're ready, join me in a hip stretch. We are going to step back with that right foot, forward with the left foot, Place the hands just on the hips. Lift the chest, pulling the shoulders and elbows back. We're just going to gently tilt the hip bones forward. Whew. Let that heart rate come down gradually. Whew. Nice big exhale. Breathing deeply. Throughout our stretches, our goal is to slowly cool down, letting our heart rate come back down to our pre-exercise levels. All right, gently lift up out of it. Step forward with the right, back with the left. Tilt the hip bones forward, and don't forget about your shoulders here. Shoulders and elbows should be relaxed. And just gently set back, breathing through it. Tilting those hip bones forward, gently stretching through the hip on that left back leg. And gently lift out of it. Let's stretch out our hamstrings. Right heel down with the toe lifted. And we're going to fold forward from the hips, pushing the chest out, maintaining a flat back. We're keeping our head elevated above the heart to prevent any dizziness. If you'd like, you can go further down into the stretch, deeper to place your hand on your toe. But if you'd like to keep your head elevated, just gently letting that heart rate come down, letting blood pressure come down naturally. You can stay elevated, pushing that chest out, driving the heel down into the floor. Gently lift up out of it, over to the other side. Heel down, toe up, and just gently fold forward. Again, try to drive that heel down into the floor. That will help to lengthen through the hamstrings while keeping the chest and head elevated. Nice big exhale. Lengthening through that hamstring. And gently lift up out of it. Let's take it into a gentle back bend. Take the heels of your palms, just place it just on top of your glutes. Lift that chest, pull the shoulders and elbows back. And just gently lean back. Nice big inhale. Exhale. In your back bend, the neck should simply follow what the rest of the back is doing. So our gaze will be up 45 degrees toward the ceiling, but the neck should not be cranked up and the chin should not be tucked down. And gently lift up, releasing, clasp your hands just behind your back and pull the elbows and shoulders back, tuck the chin back, and stretch out the pecs. Once again, nice big inhale. Exhale. Breathing through it. And release. Let's stretch out the upper back. Take your palms together, push those palms away from you. Let yourself round through the upper back. Breathing deeply. Nice big exhale. And release. Lastly, let's take it to the neck. From here, just let your arms hang down. We're going to gently rotate, 
turning the head to look over the right shoulder. Back to center, turning the head, looking over the left shoulder. Back to the middle, exhale. Back to the middle, over to the left, exhale. One more on either side. Keeping the chin parallel to the floor. And release. Let's stretch out that neck from here. Take your left hand, place your fingertips just above your right ear. Gently guide your head down to the side. With that right hand, press those fingertips down toward the floor. Just a soft knee bend here, lifting the chest. With that top hand, we're not pressing the head down. We are simply guiding the head down, just adding a little bit of weight to stretch out the side of the neck on that right side. Nice big inhale. Exhale. And relax, shake it out. One more on the other side. Take that right hand, place it just above the left ear. Guide the head down to the side. With that other hand, press those fingertips down toward the floor. Lengthening through the side of the neck on the left side. Inhale. Exhale. Stretching gently. And release. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. We're all done for today. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.